How about another weapons unboxing? It's been a while. So if you recall, when I put up these three Rohirrim swords, I said that United Cutlery is actually making a fourth one, the Sword of Theodrid. And I said that I was going to skip it because I have no room. Well... I got it. And we're going to try to squeeze it in here somehow. <laughs> So, some of you who may have only seen the Lord of the Rings movies may be asking yourself, who is Theodred? Because he doesn't actually appear in the theatrical release. He is only in the extended version, and only very, very briefly. So, in the extended version, there is an extra scene that was added that has Theodred holding his sword in a funeral because he died. Sorry if this is a big squeaky, a bit squeaky. So he was only in there for literally one scene, I believe. And in that scene, he's holding the sword, and I think that's all that's in there. And uh, in the theatrical version, you do see a scene where Theodred talks, or not, sorry, not Theodred, Theoden talks about um, after he's woken up by uh, Saruman's, from, from Saruman's spell, and he says, where is my son? Where is my son? Well, Theodred is his son, and the one who um, died. So, if you're curious who Theodred was, that's who he was. By the way, did you guys like my new YouTube intro? Thought it was time to kind of change it up. The old one has been on there for a long, long while. And um, yeah, it was time for an upgrade. So here's a, here's the unattached from the box um, graphic for Theodred's sword. Usually these things come in a box that has this on the box, but they just decided to put this separate for some reason. I guess you could just keep it with it so that it's kind of like a label, but anyway. All right, so this is a little bit of a better camera angle. So. And as expected, um, so the design of this sword is supposed to be based off of Eowyn's sword. And, wow, yeah, looks basically identical, except for this one is in green. And, yeah, wow. I think I really like the green color, too. Do a little close-up. Stay focused, there we go. So, yeah, it's, um... Got these nice two little horse horses going on the top, and then towards the bottom we got two other horses as well. Man, I gotta say the green looks really good. It's basically an exact replica of Eowyn's, except for Eowyn's, I believe, is like a brown here, and there's maybe just black where. This is green, and that's green, and this is green, that's black. But yeah, the green looks really nice. Really impressive. And the blade is a bit dirty, but I'll definitely clean it up a little bit. Here's a little close-up of the logo. So this is number 80 because these are limited edition. But yeah, 
has a really nice weight to it. Really cool. I'll definitely be doing a comparison of this one to the others here in a minute or so, but just to check out the, the fine detail of everything. Looks really nice. Very sharp tip. The blade is not sharpened like along the edges here, but really cool. So besides just the sword, it also comes with a, I believe there should be a certificate of authenticity. I didn't see it in the box but hopefully it's in here, maybe? So inside of this is the mounting hardware and then the plaque itself. And I'm not seeing the certificate of authenticity. That's kind of strange. Maybe it was in the box. Let me just double check really fast. Yep, I missed it. It was in the box. Whew, that was kind of scary for a second. So here is the certificate of authenticity. It is no longer rolled up like somehow the other ones came. It's in a nice laminated, well not laminated, but it's in a nice little sleeve here. But uh, yeah, I don't see the number of it written anywhere on here. Yeah, I don't see the number, but that's okay. As long as you have this to go with it. So now let's take a look at the plaque itself. So all of these plaques are very similar where there's two horses, but they all have a slightly uh, unique design to them. Like I believe this is, yeah, this, has these little part of the mane, of the, the horse mane sticking off like that. Looks really nice. The same shape as all the other Rohirrim swords, where it's basically a circle with the little invention right there. But yeah, it looks really good. And then on the back, a little officially licensed information. Pretty cool. So, the only thing really left to do is to put it on the wall and do some comparisons to the other ones. Okay, so before I actually put them up on the walls, I figure it's a good idea to go ahead and do a little comparison of all the Rohirrim swords, House of Ao. So. Here we have Theodrids next to Eowyn's sword. And as you can see, they are basically exactly the same. This one has a logo too, it's just, whoops, that way. One thing I am noticing now is the logo on Eowyn's sword faces this way, and the logo on Theodrids' sword goes that way. It's kind of funny. But uh, yeah, very, very similar in design. I mean, it is the same design, just one's green and one's a brown and black color. Still pretty cool. I think I may actually prefer Theodrid sword, just because it's, I don't know, I think the, the green has a nice pop to it. And here are the other two. We have Aemur's and then Theoden's sword. I want to say I think my least favorite is Aemur's sword. 
oddly enough, you can see how they're all all lined up right here, but when I go down here to the end, they are not the same lengths. A immersed sword is the shortest. So we have two that are basically the, the longer ones, Aon and Theodrids, and then Theodins and Amers are just slightly shorter. A couple inches. But anyway, pretty cool to have them all together like this. So now back to the wall mounting. Okay, got them all mounted up here finally. That was a lot of fun, <laughs> not really, but uh, yeah, turned out pretty pretty good, I think. Let me just straight on here. They're about as evenly spaced as I could get them. I still got the the holes from the previous one that was in the middle that I put some wall putty in. Fortunately, it's a different color than the wall, so you can still see it, but it's okay. But, uh, yeah. One thing I, I noticed while I was putting them up that's maybe even apparent on the screen right now is the color of the, um, I guess the design is not the same throughout all of them. These two over here are much brighter. I mean, granted, the light's coming from this side, but still, just in general. The Theodrid plaque is the least bright, so... Now that they're all next to each other, you can really see that. Kind of wish the the plaque was a bit brighter, or the sorry, the design on the plaque was more of a, a brighter gold to match the others. Even even Theodens is not as bright as the other two. But when it was in the middle, I don't think I, I even noticed it. But um, regardless, they still look really good together. Now officially have the entire House of Aeor Rohirrim swords all lined up. I, I think, I mean, <laughs> my walls are just completely covered. And there is no more room for any more swords, so if ever I get any more Lord of the Rings swords, they're gonna have to go somewhere else than in here, which, spoiler alert, I have two more swords down there I'm gonna be unboxing, so. Be sure you're subscribed to see them when I do do uh, do the unboxing. But uh, yeah, Theodrid sword looks great. Got the uh, the two replicas, Theodrid and Aeon sword on the outside because they're a bit longer. You can see the the length difference here in the middle between the, uh, Theodins and Aemer's sword, but. Yeah, turned out pretty good, I think. And uh, so that pretty much concludes the video. If you guys liked it, would really appreciate it if you could give it a like. But until next time, bye-bye.